Yo, what's up, guys? Back here, completing another wave of figures. Feels good doing the build a figure of this wave. So, I, I actually have a question quick for anybody that would know. Because I'm not sure where to review this Hot Topic Foxy. I'll get him really quick. I'm not sure where to put uh, this guy, the glow in the dark foxy. I don't know if I don't I don't know where to put him. I don't know if I put him in wave one or I'll just put him. In, I'll probably just put him in something else. You know, I'll just put him in there. So, other than that, or besides that, this is the build a figure of wave one spring trap. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to put him in the wave. Because he's from FNAF 3 and all these other figures are from FNAF 1. And sadly, I wanted a FNAF 3 wave since we got this wave. Actually, since I heard about the figures, I've wanted a FNAF 3 wave. FNAF 3 is like my favorite game. Got the ears. So this figure does not have a box. Uh, because he's a builder figure. And um, I don't really think builder figures come in boxes. You collect them all. So... Uh, I didn't put the box in. What you gonna do? Beat me up? Do it, I dare you. Paint and sculpt on this figure. The sculpt is really good, and I know that because of the custom, and I'll show you the comparison when I get there. But I really think, like, they did a really good job with the sculpt, but the paint ruins it. Because the paint is just cruddy and low quality, it really ruins the great sculpt on this figure. And that's... I think you should try it. You should paint your own spring trap. Get him, buy it, paint it. I mean, I don't know if that's well. I mean, I'm I'm a beginner and I did it, so anybody should be able to do it. So I think you should do it because it really brings out the sculpt in the figure. It really makes the figure just look twenty times better because the sculpt is just hidden under that bad paint. So sculpt great paint. <laughs> it doesn't come with any accessories because he's the builder figure. He practically is the accessory, which I think is pretty cool. Because um, they did a good job on it. He's better than any of the other figures in the wave. Not art. Well, I mean, maybe articulation wise, but not really like just figure wise. Because he's kind of a poop figure right now. But I mean, if you can work the joints. To stay on there. Then he would be pretty good. Now coming on to articulation. Speaking of joints. I'll show you it. He's. I don't think he's going to be that loose. But you never know. So head goes up and down. Side to side. Rotation. Pretty squeaky. Not too bad. Arm comes out. Oh, if you can get the arm to stay up. It comes up to about 90. There's the rotation that goes. If you can get it to stay on. It can go 360. And then. There's, hmm, there's not a full rotation around, but it goes as far as it'll go. Rotation and bend, that's pretty bad at the elbow. The hand ro hand rotates very, very tight. That just hurt moving that thing. No waist rotation, but that's pretty fine. The leg kicks forward, pretty good actually. It kicks back, not too bad. There's a rotation there. The bend at the knee is actually pretty good because there's that big gapage right there between the the thigh and the lower leg. You can see that like I can fit a whole finger between there, which makes it good, better articulation. And then there's a rotation there. <sighs> I can already tell this is going to be frustrating. There's a rotation there, and then no ankle articulation, even though that would be great. Because build a figures throughout the throughout the years, throughout the history of time. Builder figures have had better articulation than the regular figures. For scale, ow that hurt. Bring in the ruler. To the top of the ear, he's just about 6 inches, which is really good. But to the top of the head, come in at 5 inches. So you can see he's got big ears. No, no tears. I don't know, I'm trying to make rhymes like that one. Freddy sized and fully functional. That one got a few laughs. Yeah. Got some good good responses from that one. But he scales in pretty good. He's uh 
I think Bonnie's taller than him because Bonnie's ears are straight up. So he's not the tallest figure in the wave. Speaking of who's taller. Yeah, Bonnie's taller. <laughs> yeah. There's Bonnie. Golden Freddy. Foxy. Now get a good look at them. See what you got. See what you need. And then yoinking them out of here. We'll put the rest of the wave in there. The other two figures, Freddy and then Chica. You can see. He scales good with the rest of the wave, even though he's not supposed to be there. He scales pretty good. He's supposed to be an older animatronic, so I'd see him as more thin, kind of crunched up and gross and smaller. Because he's kind of rotted away, stuff's gone. I think that would make him look smaller and grosser than the rest of the figures, like the newer animatronics. So I like it. I like how he scales. I'm moving these out of here. Here is the custom. Now I think this, if you see these two next to each other, it'll make you want to paint them. Because you can just see how much better he looks with the paint. They did such a good job with the sculpt. I think they, if you paint it, it'll just, everything just sticks out. You can see all the, the bumps, the tears, the rips, the cracks, the... All the detail they put in there that you couldn't see because there was no shading, no like, not barely even any paint on it that would bring all that stuff out, which I think it needs, it needs to be out like that, it needs to look beautiful like that, because they did such a good job, and then you're paying for every figure in the wave, so you need it like that, you need it to look good, smell good, and feel good. Mm -hmm. Just some basic comparisons. We got Ghost Rider, Marvel Legends. We'll move them all back so everyone fits in frame here. And I know we're going to need to move this back here. Because I know who's coming. There's the gauntlet itself. The Mad Titan Thanos. And just because there's room on the end. Regular comparisons. You can see how big he is compared to some of these figures. I think these are most people that never mind I'm not even gonna say most people have these figures because they're just some random figures that's pulled out my butt see if you have these figures you can see how big Springtrap actually is see if you'd like him which oh, I'm gonna do it in the final thoughts in a second which is right now actually so I do recommend this figure under a few conditions though it's if you can find the figures for retail to get him, like build a, all the other figures for retail to get the build a figure, I highly recommend it. And then even on top of that, if you would paint him, I recommend it 10 times that much. Because just standing alone, if you can, I have, I've just used some cheap paint off eBay. It just makes the figure look 20 times better. And I'll even put him in right here. Uh, I know my paint isn't that good, but like, if you're a good painter, and you can really, really paint it right, and get all that shading, all the depth and stuff right, this figure is great, and I think, that I, I think you should buy him. I don't know how much each figure is, some of them are expensive, and that's kind of whack, some of them are fake, that's real whack, but if you can find it, get it, I do highly recommend well, thank you guys for watching this next wave of FNAF figures reviewed. I don't really know what's coming next. I'll probably just do a few like filler videos because with the release of FNAF uh, VR, the Help Wanted, in less than a week, less than a week that game's coming out, I'm expecting within maybe the next month, month and a half, we're getting a new wave of FNAF figures. So, like, celebrating, not even celebrating, but along with VR. So, I'm going to do some filler videos for in between that time zone. I'm going to try and, if we get any news about anything, I'll try and do, like, a news video telling everybody about them and give my opinion on it. And hopefully it's a good one because I think with, with this VR game, they could do a lot of stuff. They could release figures throughout the games that they didn't give us like uh 
Who didn't they give us? They did give us a few um, things from FNAF 3, a few figures from FNAF 2, the like Nightmare, uh, Nightmare Fredbear from FNAF 4. They could give us um, even say, I don't even know. What else could they even give us? Well, they could give us any people from just the ways we don't have. They could even do, if this game goes well, they could do a big, big, like multiple waves released back to back or something like that with the figures we don't have from like FNAF 2, FNAF 3, the figures from FNAF 4 we don't have, from uh, I don't think we're missing anything from Sister Location, and then even like uh, some of the Ultimate Custom Knight and Pizzeria Simulator figures they didn't give us, like Rockstar Bonnie, Chica, all those guys we don't have, all them absolute units. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know if I said that yet. Uh, I'll see you next time in whatever figure I review. Just make sure y'all having a, a good day. Just have a good day, guys. I'll see you later.